just get to the Daily Blend. Brittany, save me. Uh, I will. All right, 631, let's get you and your honey out the door. As you make your way out, you can see 80 westbound in Roseville. It's starting to pick up, but it's not a parking lot. So leave now if you can. As we take it to the maps, a couple of things I want to make sure you know about. Be on the lookout. The J powers that be, one of our ways are saying, hey, watch out, 50 eastbound. Somebody is having car problems as you approach 51st Street. So be on the lookout. You're going to see some flashing lights in the area. As we take a look, if you're coming from, from Folsom on 50 straight into Sacramento, we're looking at 20 minutes. But Rob Carmark on our Facebook Live, all the comments are about allergy. What in the world are we going to do? Yeah, it, it's a very difficult problem to solve. So it's almost a, more of a management issue because when there's this much pollen like there is right now, whether it's from trees or weeds or you know, flowers or whatever's in your neighborhood that, that may be bothering you, it's just not going away, especially with a day like today because the wind is the one thing that will send all the pollen counts, whatever pollen it is, it's going higher on a day like today, just like yesterday. We will see one change is that it's going to be sunny in the Sierra. I got to say, some of the photos and some of the things I've seen recently in the Sierra, it's just an ongoing endless winter and we still have another, st another storm on the way that's going to produce more snow in the Sierra. Not a big one, but it's going to keep going. So today is one of those rare sunny days up high. This is what we're going to have in the valley spots. We're going to go from the 40s to the 70s. That's a nice big swing in temperatures. But you see at the bottom there, that's hour by hour, so you can plan. Notice one thing that's pretty consistent. It's the wind, 20 to 25 miles an hour. What does that look like? Well, your strongest winds are going to be in the valley. It's still going to be pretty breezy up high, but we don't have the pollen issues because everything's still covered in snow uh, up high. So plan for another rough allergy day. It's going to be sunny, warmer than yesterday. Uh, and we're just in that groove. In fact, for the 10 day forecast, I do not see any significant chances for rain in the valley location. So we're hitting our dry streak and maybe it stays for a while. Yeah, about time, I guess. Thank you, Rob. A Citrus Heights woman is behind bars this morning, charged with DUI and vehicular manslaughter. This after a deadly crash. Police say the crash happened about two o'clock yesterday morning on East Bidwell Street in Folsom. Traffic was a mess for several hours during the morning commute. Just one car was involved, the driver, 21-year-old Alexis Little. Police say the car she was driving hit a light pole and flipped over. One of the people in the car called 911 and told them that uh, one of the other passengers had died. He was a 28-year-old from Cameron Park. Hey guys, good morning, Carlos Herrera here live. We're getting on the light rail. Good morning, everyone, good morning. You might have heard California gas prices are going up, way up, about $4.15 this month. And of course, we're going to see an uptick in ridership on public transportation. SACRT is expecting that, actually. Take a look this morning. Some folks already on here. Hey, good morning, guys. No? Good morning. Yeah, there we go. Hang on tight. All right, Jessica Gonzalez here with SACRT. You guys have dealt with this before, 2008. An uptick in ridership, right? Yeah, we saw when gas prices hit 450, we saw a 25% increase in ridership. Uh, we could expect that again this summer. Obviously, outrageous gas prices in California. There are some options for folks, right? What are they? Yeah, we reduced prices for the first time in 47 years. We have increased our frequency on light rail on the weekends, and we're actually completely redesigning our bus network starting in September, and we're adding more of our Smart Ride Microtransit um, to more areas in Sacramento to give riders more options. If you live in San Joaquin County, you also have options. They are expecting a busy summer as well. In fact, ridership went up by uh, this last month, actually, oh, by July 1st, actually, last year. Um, they're also promoting the use of their ride share Van Gogh that was launched just a couple of months ago that gives services to unincorporated areas of San Joaquin County. Of course, you have more information on my Facebook page, Carlos Herrera News. For now, we'll continue hanging on. Jeremy will continue hanging on. Jessica, also being safe. Send it back over to you. Everybody better hang on. All right, 635 right now. Check this out. The Sacramento City Council has taken a pretty big step to bringing Major League Soccer to Sacramento. The council voted unanimously last night to approve a funding agreement with Republic FC to help build that new stadium we've been telling you about. The city's going to offer $33 million in tax incentives and fee waivers. Now, this deal is going to give Sac Republic the green light to start building. Mayor Seinberg hopes this plan gets the league commissioner to pick Sacramento as a major league soccer city. I know that they're meeting on the 18th of April, but we don't know whether that'll be the date or not. But, um, you know, hopefully soon. As my colleague said, as I said, we've checked every box and more, and um, we're ready. 
and they know we're ready. So let's hope. All right, so the city says the stadium could generate between 1,300 and 2,600 new jobs. And let's take a look at some other stories making headlines for you this morning. Authorities in New York City have declared a public health emergency amid an alarming spike in measles cases. We have a situation now where children are in danger. Officials are mandating vaccinations and issuing fines up to $1,000 for anyone who doesn't comply. A woman is suing the Houston Astros for a million dollars after she says the team's mascot broke her finger with a t-shirt cannon. The lifelong fan says she needed two surgeries, racking up more than 15 grand in medical bills. A lawyer says the team didn't offer any compensation and that's why they're suing. And for the last time, two NBA legends walked off their home courts as winners. Dwayne Wade scored 30 points in his final game in Miami and the Mavericks' Dirk Nowitzki also made his retirement official after 21 years. He dropped 30 points in a win over the Suns. Both players will play their final games tonight on the road. And that is your daily blend of news and information. If you got something you want to share with us when you see it online, just use the hashtag MorningBlend10.